This year's Treasure of the Crimson Witness came out today with some surprising items, to be honest. If you don't know about these treasures, they're extremely expensive because to obtain one, you need to have a ticket to that year's international and link it to your Steam account. So you really only get these for attending TI. They're sort of a Steam wallet rebate from Valve for buying TI tickets. I know many people offset their year's expenses with these treasures every year as they can range anywhere from two to $500, depending on the items and the quantity that are given out each year. It's changed a few times, but this year you're not guaranteed a treasure with your ticket. Some years you were guaranteed one, and then every first blood from a match, a certain amount are dropped randomly to the attendees. But this year there isn't a guaranteed drop for every attendee. And because the main event of TI is so much shorter this year with fewer matches, I expect these treasures are gonna be more rare than normal. So I expect their value to be particularly high. Anyway, the items are interesting. They're always previous year's TI's Immortals with a red tint which tints the item model itself, the ability icon and importantly the immortal ability effect. Firstly there's the Shadow of the Dark Age for Night Stalker, the immortal item which changes crippling fear. Notably there is a base and a gold version of this item already in the game. That's the case for quite a few Crimson Witness items so I'm going to show the Crimson effect on the bottom left for every item and the base version on the right. If there's a gold version I will show it on the right also. This item's Fine, I don't think it's the best in the chest, but I'm sure it will be expensive. Meepo Everglyph Goggles are available in red this year. They're the electric net immortal that changes the net effect. The effect is quite neat, it's pretty strong. The Disruptor Orb of Deliverance, I think from an effect standpoint, is probably the worst here. The model is nice, but it doesn't change your projectile colour or anything like that, unfortunately. This is definitely the stinker of the chest. The most exciting one in the chest for sure is the Twilight Schism of the Crimson Witness. This is the lunar item that affects the colour of Moonglaives. This is already available in purple and gold, which are both really nice items and are used very often. The item itself is really strong, the model and the particle effects of the item. I think this is the prize of this treasure for sure. Whether their prices reflect my opinion is yet to be seen, but I think that this is definitely one that you would be happy to get if you opened only one of these. Finally, Templar Assassin's Mantle of the Whispered Bond is cool. It affects refraction. TA does already have a crimson item, so this might have a bump in what it's worth because purely you can match it with another crimson. The effect is fine, it is pretty minimal and the tint isn't very visible, but the item definitely is. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video about this new treasure. These are going to be very valuable items, so it's always interesting to check them out. If you want to keep up with Dota Cosmetics, please subscribe, leave a like. Thank you very much to my YouTube members for supporting my channel.